charges after a man rammed a truck through our sister station in Baltimore, causing a police standoff that lasted for hours. You know, we first told you about this breaking news yesterday at noon. Baltimore County Police say 28 year old Vladimir Baptiste is facing three counts of attempted second degree murder. He's being held on $750,000 bail. As Andrew Spencer reports, we're learning more about the suspect's troubled history. A man tries to open the doors, security won't let him inside, so the man uses force, bursting through the station doors at WMAR ABC2 News in Baltimore. The suspect's family immigrated from Haiti in 1999. His mother says after high school, he started using drugs and hanging out with the wrong crowd. I have three kids. I work so hard to get him here. I wish my busy that I wish I would never bring my kids in. You know. She watched the scene play out on the news as police swarmed outside the WMAR building, arming themselves with tactical gear. When the man first tried to get inside the building, station employees say he was screaming as he pulled on the doors. Let me in, let me in. The person then began to scream, let me in, I'm God, I'm effing God. That's when police say the man stole a landscaping truck from outside and smashed it into the front of the building. He hit the front windows twice before breaking through. Police say the man would eventually make contact with a security guard before making his way to a second floor editing room. That's where police say he camped out for hours watching on station televisions as other news outlets covered the standoff. The tactical team moved in to take him into custody. I understand we had to use a canine dog as well. I'm Andrew Spencer reporting. The suspect wasn't just watching the standoff on TV. Apparently, he was also talking about it on social media. It appears to be, uh, this appears to be a tweet from Vladimir Baptiste. It says, chilling at ABC2 News, waiting and yawning. The tweet was sent around 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon when the SWAT team had WMAR surrounded. It was followed by a series of other tweets that seemed less coherent.